So we're back with Megan. And um, Megan, so many times when people come to situations um, where they lose a loved one, they always say, I wish I would have told them this, that, or the other thing before, um, you know, before it was too late. We're, we're kind of turning the tables here and giving you the opportunity to say things to people um, so they know how you feel. So if you want to start with your kids, you want to start with your mom, whoever you want to talk to, but why don't we start with your kids? Okay. What's the message that you want them to remember you by? And if you want to cry, cry. Um, oh God. A fighter. So this has been the part that's been weighing on my mind probably the longest. Um, since day one is my kids, what I'll say, what I'll do, I've tried to set up everything in place for them, like therapy and as morbid as it sounds, I have boxes for each one of them for special milestones that they'll have along the way that I probably won't be at. Um, but I don't know how you explain to a nine, five, and two-year-old what's going on. Um, the nine-year-old is probably the only one that truly understands. And even then, I don't know that she has grasped it and knows that this is her mom. Um, I've recently been told that I have months and not that any doctor can put a time frame on your life, but that is what they're telling me. Um, so for my kids, I want to say the same thing that all the people that have contributed to the GoFundMe found in their hearts. Celebrate life. To be happy that there's going to be obstacles in your life that come up such as this one or something minor. But it's how you deal with it that gets you through it. Um, I want them to know that there's plenty of support that is around them. They have family, they have cousins, they have friends, they have grandparents, they have their father that they need to look to and they need to, to use as a support system, but he, they can still- He achieve. can't cook though, can he? He's actually a better cook than I am. <laughs> so he's a better cleaner than I am too. So, <laughs> um, but I want them to know that life can go on even though that's so hard for me to say. Because I want to be there for that, but I don't want them to stop their life. I don't want them to think that things can't continue because I'm not around. Um, that life throws these things at you and you can't choose those things. You can't choose what music is played for you. You can't choose what what songs are given throughout your life but but you, you can, can dance. choose you can dance and you can choose how you dance through it and i want them to dance through it and lean on the people that throughout their life will help them dance through it um how about your husband to my husband I'm gonna joke because I don't know how else to say this, but good luck with two teenage girls as as you, they become, they're already teenage girls and they're only nine and five. Um, good luck with two teenage girls. Right. <laughs> um, I think he's more stressed than I am. I'm trying to go through and put everything in place for him. I have a, about a 10 page worksheet of all our <laughs> passwords. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, passwords that's right yeah. passwords how to get onto the kids report cards how to load money onto their cafeteria account does he know how to run the washing machine no he no. shrinks things he shrinks things okay um but literally there is a 10 page worksheet on our google drive of everything and anything you can think of and i know that's going to be the last thing he thinks of but it made me feel better knowing that i was leaving him a workbook to kind of go through as best he can. He's going to encounter more things with teenage girls than he's ever imagined. and Even doing what he does. Right. You should tell the audience what he does. 
And he's a corrections officer. He used to work with females. Um, but I, I, I am happy in knowing that he has a great support team behind him. And that goes to my family. My How about fi- your siblings and your mom? Yep, yeah, my and and his family. Yep. Yeah. It's not just it's not just my family. Um, both our mothers have stepped up incredibly more so than they ever have in the last few months helping because I can't carry the baby right now. I can't. There's a lot of things that I can't do right now, anyways. But my cousins, my siblings, my. My you have a lot of cousins, right? Yeah, I have a lot of cousins that have uh, that are amazing. My aunts have come up and they drive me to chemo appointments. My sister came up when and my cousin came up when I was getting surgery. Um, so I have a I have one of the best support teams you could ask for, and it's not just my family; it's my extended family too. I truly mean it when I call it a North High family, because they have equally been there for me in ways I could have never imagined. And you even made it to the state basketball finals up in Lowell. They they got a box for a you box for me. all by yep. yourself. So and, that I could see it. Yep. And they won. Yep. And it, so it's family, coworkers, my neighborhood right here has, they were the first to step up when I was diagnosed in November and set up a meal train. They had a meal train set up before I was home that day. Um, so they, I mean, and they've continued to show support by bringing the kids by, you know, whatever they could do, they've, they've done. Um, so, it, and even down to my, my nieces, my nephews, my, you know, my little cousins, my niece cut off part of her hair, and donated it. Not that it could come to me, but she donated it to go to someone yeah. else who has cancer. Um, so it's, it's a larger a much larger support system than I ever thought I had. I always knew my family was close, but this is a much larger support system than I ever thought I had. And it, it's truly incredible. I can't even put words to it. I, you can't, you, the amount of things that these people have done for me and have asked what they could do for me is over and beyond what you do for a person, no matter how nice they are, no matter what they're going through. Cool. Cool. So we want to thank you for taking time from your journey to put your words into uh, a format that others can learn from and see how damn strong you are. And, and strength has so many different meanings, Megan, doesn't it? And I, I believe I exhibit those in all different ways at all different times. And sometimes there isn't strength that day. Some days I do sit in my bed and pity me and, you know, just want to let it be done. Like, I, I, I'll admit that. it's Going through the treatments is not easy. I mean, it's taxing on your body. It's taxing on, on your mental health. It's taxing on your family. But... In the end, the thing that I, I just keep hoping for is I set little goals for myself. Okay, this is what I need to get through next. This is what I need to get through next. And that next thing is my five-year-old getting on the kindergarten bus. I have to make it to that day. That is my next goal. Even though I've only been given a few months, that, that has to happen. Right out in front of the house. Yep. 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 So you visualize that yellow bus. You visualize her curly hair. And um, and waving. Yep. Because for five years she's waited her turn, and this is her turn.